What's up YouTube? Super Milwaukee boy here back in the kitchen. It's been a long time guys. Um, I missed out on the whole month of October. It was my favorite month. Nonetheless that brings me to what I'm going to be reviewing today. And I know it's uh, been a long time since I did any kind of food items. When I check back on my older videos I've been doing a lot of um, I've been doing a lot of liquor um, type items and nonetheless this is going to be a liquor item today uh, guys don't don't worry guys there will be more food items along the way but nonetheless my product today I'm going to be reviewing and I can only get it it was like a once in a lifetime ordeal because since Halloween's over they're not going to probably sell this anymore but this is Witch's Brew and uh, Witch's Brew Door County Winery. So this is a wine, and I am so excited. I think the bottle looks totally awesome. Then we got a little ghost in the back of the bottle with the bats flying around. You got the witch flying over the the moon with her broom. Now that the camera's focused, you can probably see it all better. There was another ghost. So just the bottle alone, we got some uh, some dark pumpkin smiling at us at the background. The bottle alone was just, it, it, it was bad guys, it was epic. So just the bottle alone made me want to get this bottle of wine. I think I only spent uh, $9 on it. So if, if I would have got it while uh, October was still going on, I probably would have got it for like 16 bucks, which is highly expensive for me. <laughs> So I'm glad I got it when I did, when it was on sale today, guys. But anyways, I'm curious to see what this wine has to bring, because I've tried so many wines, so many great wines. And uh, I like, I love wine. I absolutely love it. Wine's one of my things that I, I, I do best <laughs> here in Wisconsin, guys. So let's see what's all, uh, what are the fruits made in this wine what's all blended together in here we got a semi dry grape that sounds good I love dry wine you know me I love sweet wine but with me sweet wine would have to be sweet red wine other than that I like semi sweet dry wine but anyways we got semi dry grape plum and strawberry wine Ooh, this is gonna be good guys Nothing better than when you mix grape, plum, and strawberry into a great wine. Let's see the back. It says, Witch's Brew. Fall is a mesmerizing, almost unearthly time in Wisconsin's door peninsula. In the narrow torch lit ancient limestone caverns, that lie beneath the award-winning Door Peninsula Winery. <clears throat> An unforgettable season potion is brewing witch's brew. In this expertly crafted semi-dry red DPW blends, dang this wine sounds good, Sarah and Fruit Wines to capture the fresh, natural, wicked, delightful flavors of Door County at Falls and Happy Halloween. <laughs> Guys, the witches brewed this right here in Wisconsin. This is a badass wine, and let's get ready to try this one, guys. Let me undo this. I am ready. There's about, what is it? This contains sulfates, sulfites, so I think that's a preservative. And it also has alcohol, which is 12% by volume, which is not very much for a guy like me. But anyways, as I always remind you guys, don't drink underage. Wait until you're 21 or older. Parents do not let their kids drink. And uh, also another little uh, healthy, healthy, you know, safe, cautious tip is do not let children use sharp objects in the kitchen do it themselves parents <laughs> but a lot of kids are very very intelligent these days they already know this stuff 
Let's get this bottle open. I gotta get the cork out of the bottle. See if I can, I gotta stand up for this. See if I can drill this cork into there deeply and see if I can pull it out. How about that? All right. Ooh. Well, uh, cork is out of the bottle. Guys, there's no better way for me to try this on cam try it, than trying it with you guys right here in my kitchen joining me after it's been a long time. I toast to you guys and there's no better way of me trying this than one of my favorite movies by Tim Horton, The Nightmare Before Christmas. I got the shot glass. Check that out guys. He's with his love life. Let's let the camera focus. I love Jack Skellington. So, Nightmare Before Christmas shot glass, Witch's Brew Wisconsin wine. Here we go, guys, for better or for worse. Give me a nice big shot there. But before I drink it, as always, let's go over my rating scale. One, meaning the wine was bad. Two, meaning the wine was okay. Three meaning the, the wine product was good, but they could always step it up next year for Halloween, make the product better. Four meaning the product was great, which is great enough. If it's great, it's great. And five meaning they went above, beyond, everything was fantastic, outstanding in flavor. And with my rating skill set, guys, here we go, let's try this. Cheers, joining me back in the kitchen, guys. Okay, when I was uh, taking that shot of wine down, I did notice the plum, which was really, really something. The plum and the grape flavor stood out above everything. And that was really, really, really good. Really good. So on my rating scale, Witch's Brew Wisconsin Wine is a three for good. It is really good wine. I think you guys will love it. It's definitely worth going out and trying. Maybe if you can still find it on sale. I got this bottle at Pick and Save Grocery Store. Guys, it's, it's a three for good. It, it almost came close to a great. The flavors were spot on for this one. I think for me, like I said, you know, for a, a grape slash plum wine, it was just a little too sweet for my taste. I think if it was a little more dry, it would have been a step up for being great. But anyways, it's definitely worth a try. It is good, and that is good enough in my opinion. Witch's Brew Wine, guys. Uh, it's a Halloween type thing, like I said. Go out and find it if you can, if it's still on the market. Take care. Love, peace as always, guys. Super Milwaukee Boy, we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.